Halo Infinite Catalyst and Breaker Map Showcase. It's a short video, about two and a half minutes long, so I thought I'd do a live reaction review. I've not seen these maps yet, besides like the images that we've seen online. If you like these kind of reaction videos, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below and tap that like button. This me a good idea like you guys want to see more stuff like this. My my voice is a little shot. I'm sorry. I went to a metal show last night and was screaming my voice off the, like the entire time. So and this I went to bed at, like 12 o'clock, just tired as hell, and this video uploaded at, like six o'clock my time. So um, I'm doing the best I can, man. But hey, let's get right into the video here. As always, yeah, let people know. Ooh. Dude, that landscape looks nice. We'll just watch it one time through and then we'll pick it apart afterwards. Oh, the music. Yes, the music. It's so good. It looks great. Catalyst. Abandoned Forerunner. Ooh. Eat. I, 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 what? I don't know what that word was. But anyways. Yeah, this looks so good. This looks way better than like that first like concept images that they showed. Oh my god, with like the things flying below. Yeah, camo. Looks like we got sword. Yeah, skewer as well. Okay, so it's kind of like opposing bases kind of thing. So it's more like a symmetrical map, it looks like. You know, red base and blue base kind of thing. I, I love how they use like the lighting to be like the red base. That's so good. I like, like that, oh my god, I like that design of like the vines growing through and stuff like that. Oh, this looks great. It's a little more symmetrical than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be kind of like an asymmetrical map. And then we got Breaker. Oh man, this is like straight from the concept art. And it looks just like it, if not even better. Oh, this is what I was looking forward to. Finish ship breaking yards. Yeah, that's what it kind of looked like. And like, it totally reminds me of like Wreckage from Halo 4. Oh man, this looks so good. I wonder, that path, I wonder if that's actually the like interactive platform thing to kind of help you jump up. That'd be actually kind of cool. This maybe yeah, with that laser that they showed in the middle of the map. This is much more interactive element. Oh my god, like a pit. Oh, you know, there's gonna be like a power weapon or something right there. It doesn't really look like you can use it for jumps. So I was like, man, I was kind of hoping to do some vehicle jumps with that. Man, this is totally a different type of map from uh, what we have right now in BTB. This looks great. Oh, there's that laser. Oh, so you can like actually have like interactions with it like in a different area besides like the little jump spot. That's cool. Dude, this map looks so good. Oh man. It did. They definitely said it looked a little more infantry focused on this map and a little bit smaller of a BTB map, which I think it looks like to be. I was kind of worried about vehicle pathing, but it looks like it kind of like dedicated paths. And there you go. That's the uh, season two reveal of Catalyst and Breaker for the new maps. Let's take a quicker look at this. I do love this art style for this uh, Forerunner map right here this is something we definitely need in halo's a little more sci-fi elements coming in that's one thing i think uh 343 has kind of struggled with with their art design from a lot of their maps is that a lot of them look very just kind of like clean us unsc focused uh not so much in the way of like covenant and forerunner stuff but this looks like something you would definitely see like in halo 3 this kind of reminds me of like almost in a way of the map citadel that's the map i was taking over here and you can see like there is some kind of similarities when it comes to the art style here but again like very kind of simplistic yet sci-fi kind of look to the whole thing it definitely looks great i love the aesthetic of these sentinels flying underneath the map it's I don't know where this thing is floating up in but it's definitely high up in the air because you see like that's like the terrain that they were showcasing both earlier uh, we also have, or actually, it looks like more to be like the overshield, I guess, maybe more than the camo, uh, right down the bottom mid, mid of the map. And dude, like this looks, ah, oh, it just looks so good. It's like uh, it's not much else to say. We just, it just, it's so good. <laughs> but like, uh, I would say I'm expecting this to be maybe more kind of like a reminiscent of the map Tyrant from Halo Five, where it's kind of like similar idea but kind of more asymmetrical. This looks to be a very symmetrical map. I mean, I should have probably figured that since. Uh, this map will be part of the ranked playlist in Halo Infinite once this launches on May 3rd. Yeah, May 3rd. And like, I love how they use like the sunset lighting to kind of fill up this room to be like the red base in a way. Oh, that's that's the right way to do it when you want to try to like indicate different map sides and stuff like that. Like that is it's really, it's kind of genius, honestly, putting it that way when it comes to, you know, coloring up the map and making it so there's like identifiers that you'd be able to know like, oh, I'm on the left side of the map or the right side of the map. Love like these 
you know, old vines going across the open area and stuff like that. Because that was not there when we first saw this map. But this looks, again, just it looks awesome. I can't wait to get jump in and play this. Like, though, it does look like this platform with the sword is lower than the one on the right, if I'm not mistaken. Unless it's just a matter of perspective. But uh, they look like different platforms, but can maybe effectively do similar things. Um, I'm not quite sure if you can maybe jump up from where the skewer is here up to the top ledge. That'd be kind of a huge map imbalance when it comes to, uh, you know, just being able to traverse the map. Because this looks a lot higher where you could possibly could make a jump up there. Um, but there's like a ton of, again, more dangers to the map. Obviously, you can, it looks like you uh, clearly fall off the map and stuff like that. Uh, multiple areas where you could do that. Um, I think I did, see, if there is like a repulsor anywhere, I think I saw a repulsor like on the early images uh, by where the skewer is. If I remember correctly, the kind of place from right back here. Uh, so if it's a you know, repulsor might be a really good pickup on this map. So uh, definitely want to keep an eye on that. As soon as we get some more details and once we get a chance to kind of look into this, uh, I'll definitely do like a map breakdown to uh, showcase like all the weapon spawns and they'll do cool jumps and things you can pull off because with curb slides definitely changes the mobility of Halo Infinite and I think there might be some pretty cool stuff you can pull off on this map. I love how they basically took this bit of concept art and then made it into the actual map. So the only difference is you don't see the other towers on the behind it as well. So I think that maybe just kind of reduce like polygon count. They probably had to go about doing something like that. But Breaker, this map looks so cool. Definitely much more infantry focused. You can see a lot more tight, co close quarter kind of stuff. Obviously, you had the jump right there with like the uh, the laser going across the uh, center of the map there, which can kill you if you get hit by it. So keep that in mind. Um, but that's a little bit of danger in their activity, which I think is pretty cool about this map. And I know they did say that this is gonna be a much more infantry focused kind of, of a map. Uh, and it definitely looks like that with kind of like how the lanes are for the vehicles. It's definitely a much more defined lanes you can go through, which is something I'm, I think BTB definitely needs more of. It's just the uh, maps that allow you to be, have more freedom of movement. Like think of like a map like Standoff from Halo 3, right? You just could go wherever you want. And that was like, the beauty of that map. Uh, sometimes the Warhawk can run a little crazy on that map, but as long as you have like a Spartan laser or rockets, you can do something against it, you know? So you, could, you had counters. Uh, this is the little platform thing I was telling you about. Like maybe this looks like something like if you're like down here, if you can even get down here, use it as a jump or use it as some kind of other leverage see like if it's something that it's actually more useful or just something become more visual uh and visually entertaining kind of thing but we just have to wait and see we also have a repulsor so you can you can yeet people into the lava and some crazy as smolting pit right down here uh, i wonder what this whole section is about though like i was kind of expecting to see like this is a platform you totally would see like a power weapon or some kind of point of uh you know contention or like a power weapon or, or power up or something but i don't know maybe they just uh you know, thought that this area is advantageous enough to shoot from that people will go to it, but I don't know, we'll see what's really, how that becomes useful. Again, once the map's actually drop, but definitely we'll do a breakdown of these. Like this cool, like, under tunnel kind of pathing kind of thing. Again, I love, like, when maps kind of have the ability to kind of, like, section off battles that, like, you're only having this battle within this hallway kind of thing, rather than getting, like, shot from other directions, but, like, also creating good flow and not, like, causing such a, uh, a contention point where, like, it's just, like, a mess, you know? Uh, I definitely do like that. Uh, I definitely just noticed right here, right here, a cinder shot. So this is a cinder shot map. So there might not be rockets. You usually don't have cinder shots and rockets on the map at the same time, which I'm always bummed. Rockets are my favorite weapon to use because it's just fun. You just instantly delete people. I do love, I did not expect this to actually be like a playable area that looks like, I wonder what if they're going to try to put like some kind of power up or some kind of power weapon. To get people to go in this area because that looks super dangerous especially when you have a repulsor on the map as well uh but to see just like this the, the visual aesthetics of this map are incredible i'm sorry but i thought to sound like a total fanboy here but like it literally do sound inc like incredible okay so you do have like the uh the gravity hammer up here right above like where they were just showcasing the laser and stuff like that dude this is this is looks so good this looks so good Cannot wait to jump in and play this, man. I, like, the memes are gonna come from this laser, man. It's gonna be fantastic. But yeah, May 3rd is when this releases, guys. I am super excited about this. I'll be releasing a ton of content on Season 2, doing some map breakdowns, some new customizations, and how they're changing up the battle pass to see how also the customization changes, because there is gonna be apparently cross-core customization where it looks like you might be able to put on helmets on different cores. 
but we'll see what else they kind of throw in before the release of the new season. The timing of the season release is also like perfect because it's gonna be riding right off of the heels of the Halo Infinite Kansas City event, which I will be at. I'll be at Kansas City there hanging out with everybody. So if you guys see me there, make sure to say hi. But if you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo, guys, make sure you tap subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel or miss any content from your recently checked this playlist right here, I'm going to link to all my Halo news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you all in the next one. Peace out.